Welcome. The topic of this lesson is decimal numbers in standard form. Lesson duration remains 5 minutes. Let's see our lesson objectives. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to 1. Group and write decimal numbers properly. 2. Write decimal fractions. 3. Write decimal numbers in standard form and vice versa. Let us now proceed. The place value of a digit is the position it occupies in a set of numbers. In our last lesson, we saw the place value of only large numbers. However, the image on the board shows the place values of both large and small numbers, and we shall focus on the small numbers after the decimal point. 1. In tenths. 2 in hundreds, three in thousands, four in ten thousands, five in hundred thousands, and six in millions. Now, let us learn how to group and write decimal numbers. Digits of small numbers can be grouped in threes, starting from the decimal point and moving to the right-hand side. For example, let us group and write the following decimal numbers in words. A. 0.00345 B. 0.000134 Solution A. First, we group the digits in threes, starting after the decimal point, as shown on the board. Now, let's read the numbers in words. 345 thousandths B. Arrange the digits in threes, starting after the decimal point. Now, let's read. 134 millions. That's brilliant. Small numbers are known as decimal fractions and have names which relate to their place value. The table on the board shows some decimal fractions and their positions in the place value chart, bearing their names. For example, 1 tenth equals 1 over 10, which equals 0 0.1. 1 hundredths equals 1 over 100, which equals 0 0.01. And 1 thousandths equals 1 over 1000, which equals 0 0.001. Now, pause this video, write the names of these decimal fractions in your notebook. To write a decimal number in standard form, we simply do the following. 1. Move the decimal point to the right of the first non-zero digit. 2. Count the number of places you move the decimal point. 3. Write the negative powers of 10 using the number of decimal places you moved. Let us now see an example. Example 2. Write 0 0.00872 in standard form. Solution Step 1. Move the decimal point to the right of the first non-zero digit. Step 2. Count the number of places you move the decimal point. The decimal point is moved three places to the right. Step 3. Write the negative powers of 10 using the number of decimal places you moved. Therefore, 0 0.00872 equals 8.72 times 10 raised to the power minus 3. That's brilliant. Now, pause this video and convert the following decimal numbers to standard form in your notebook. We can also convert decimal numbers in standard form back to expanded form. We do this by following these simple steps. 1. Move the decimal point to the left, the number of times, shown on the negative power of 10. 2. Fill the number of spaces you moved with zeros. 3. Rewrite the number without the negative power of 10. Let's see our final example. Example 3. 
convert 8.2 times 10, raised to the power minus 7, to expanded form. Solution 1. Move the decimal point to the left, the number of times, shown on the negative power of 10. The negative power of 10 is minus 7, so we move the decimal point, 7 places to the left, as shown on the board. 2. Fill the number of spaces you moved, with zeros. On the board, the spaces are filled with 6 zeros. 3. Now, rewrite the number, without the negative power of 10. Therefore, 8.2 times 10 raised to the power minus 7, equals 0 0.0000082. That's excellent. Let us now summarize. In summary, we have been able to learn the following in this lesson. 1. How to group and write decimal numbers properly. 2. How to write decimal fractions and 3. How to write decimal numbers in standard form, and vice versa. I hope you enjoyed the class. See you in the next lesson. Thanks, and goodbye.